Welcome to this course on programming Pascal. I'm Hugh Collingborn and I'm going to be taking you from the very fundamentals of programming Pascal right up to the quite complex details of dealing with object orientation. Now if you've never done programming before this course is fine for you and if you've got some programming experience in other languages well you can skip the very early stages and get right into programming real world programs in Pascal. Now we're going to be using one of two possible development environments for this course. You can either use a commercial program called Delphi, which is a very well known and very well established program used to create quite powerful commercial applications in all sorts of different areas. Or you can use a completely free environment called Lazarus. Now, Lazarus is great, it uses the free Pascal compiler and it has the advantage that you can use it on Windows, on Mac OS X or even on other operating systems like Linux. And when you've written your program, you can transfer it to another operating system, recompile it, and you can have, for example, a, a, the same program running on Windows and on the Macintosh. Now, my background in Pascal, I go back oh, further than I really like to remember. I started programming Pascal way back in the 1980s in a, an early version of Pascal for uh, the PC called Turbo Pascal. And Delphi was the successor to Turbo Pascal, and of course Lazarus then came along to create this cross-platform compiler and development environment, and that was based on a syntax that you'll find in Delphi called Object Pascal, which is a modern, object-oriented version of Pascal. Now, I've written for... this is a magazine I used to write for PC Plus in the UK, and I wrote about Delphi for over 10 years. This is a a column I used to write called Delphi Workshop and that appeared every month for, as I say, for over 10 years and so I've got a long history of programming in Object Pascal. The great thing about Delphi or Lazarus is that these are visual programming languages. You can just click a button on a toolbar, drop it onto a form, design your user interface, click the button again, double click it to go into the code editor, write your code, debug it to find any problems, compile it, that means to translate your source code into machine code that can be run efficiently by your operating system, by your hardware, and you've got your ready-to-run application. So it's a nice, friendly, uh, programmer-friendly language and environment for creating applications. This is a multimedia course. Of course, the videos are quite central and you'll spend a lot of time watching the videos in which I'll explain the techniques that you use to accomplish certain programming tasks and I'll also explain the background details, the technical details of how object-oriented programming works in Object Pascal. But don't ignore the e-book that comes with it. The Little Book of Pascal is quite a complex tutorial text which is divided into 10 chapters that match the 10 sections of the video tutorials and these will go into, in some cases, quite a bit more detail. So it'll explain things such as object orientation, file I.O., types, variables, all the subjects that I describe in the videos are also dealt with in the text. So be sure to use the text along with the videos. Read the text watch the videos. If you're uncertain of some aspect described in the videos, go back to the text. And of course, the third element of this course, and in my view, the most important element, is the source code archive. Download the source code archive. You'll find in that there are three subdirectories, one of which contains the source for Delphi. Delphi is a commercial IDE for Windows, one of which contains the same source for Lazarus for Windows, Lazarus is the IDE, the free IDE, that uses the free Pascal compiler. And the other one has the source code for the Mac version, the OS X version of Lazarus. In these archives, you'll find the same projects. So if you open up the different directories, exactly the same projects are available for Delphi, for Mac Lazarus, and for the Windows version of Lazarus. When you're using Delphi, you just go to the directory in which you've got the projects, select open the project, open the Delphi project file, 
and you can use the project manager to load the forms or switch between the design and the code and when you're ready to run click one of these run or debug buttons Lazarus you use the Lazarus source code archive whether it's for Windows or for Macintosh now to open a project project open project and select the Lazarus project it's the same source it's the same programs that you'll be running and with Lazarus you click the run button up here and you are ready to try out the sample code and on the Mac it's pretty much the same go to the project menu of Lazarus open project of course you'll be using the Mac part of the archive select the Lazarus project open it up and you're ready to start running your programs so fundamentally it doesn't really matter whether you're using Lazarus on Windows, Lazarus on Mac, or if you're using Delphi, the source code can be used for each of those IDEs on the Mac or on Windows, as long as you use the appropriate section of the source code archive.